Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. We made it. <laughs> it is the final of the 2020 Advent Calendar Whiskey Tournament. Holy cow. And I feel like we started this out with a high five and we should close it out with a high five. Because Julie and I have made completely different picks all the way through this thing, today we're each going to be picking our own champion. I'm tasting two bottles, she's tasting two different bottles, and our holiday gift to you is to not put you through two tastings one after another. We are going to taste concurrently and get this thing wrapped up so you can get on with your holiday. I swapped the hat, because that apparently did not work yesterday <laughs> for our little Norman t-shirt. Out with the hat, in with the shirt. Let's see if it brings you luck. She's drinking number eight overall. The wood finished bourbon from the first bracket, this is Old Forester 1910, and number 14 overall, the weeded bourbon, which also happens to be wood finished, Maker's Mark 46 from bracket three. 46 at 94 proof and the 1910 at 93 proof, very similar proofs, somewhat similar flavor profiles. That's gonna be a tricky one, so good luck with that. You're welcome. I am drinking number one overall, Elijah Craig, barrel proof B520 at 127 point something proof, and the Old Forester 1920 Prohibition style, 115 proof. So I wanna say that this was number 19 overall, but that number doesn't really fit the quality of this bourbon. The higher priced whiskeys matched up against lower priced whiskeys, and we had a bunch of just, just really strange matchups. This bottle just happened to wind up being seated very low, which strangely enough for you didn't matter because you chose this over it, and these two bottles came out of bracket three together. I do Here love they that. are in the finals together. I do love that. They're best friends now, I think. They're best friends. They're competitive, but they still like each other and they're supportive still. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. Brown sugar. Oh, vanilla. Oak. Huh. Okay, I'm getting a bit of bread, but it's banana mm. bread. With maybe Are you some, drinking mine? With maybe oh, some chocolate, no, maybe chocolate chips in it. Both of these have really rich noses. Incredible legs, just from the little swirling I've been doing. I love incredible legs. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna take a sip of glass number one. How about you? You love incredible legs. I'm not sure what you're doing with me. I think you're great. <laughs> have you been drinking yours already? Of course. You didn't even <laughs> cheers me on the finale. Oh. <laughs> I've been drinking for like five minutes already. You think we haven't been drinking for 24 days straight? Okay, cheers then. <laughs> And cheers to you. Thanks for following us. Thanks, guys. So, oh. <laughs> oh. happy or sad or unexpected? I'm so happy. I feel like who's that guy who did the act inside the actor studio? James Lipton. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you happy? What makes you sad? This makes me pretty happy. <laughs> when this competition is over, I'll be happy, but I'll also be a little bit sad because these are the types of bourbons that I generally needed to be either a special occasion or at least a weekend to get into. Today, I'm very happy to have two of my absolute favorites. Yesterday, I was pulling for the 46 to have a closer mashup, but now being where I am, I kind of wish that Jack Daniels was in here because uh -oh. then I would have a definitive, I know which one is which, and now I can move forward. If you've been following for 23 days, I'm at a 20 out of 23 wrong. Yeah, 20 out of 23, I, I, think, is, was... I think you're being gracious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little worse Wait, than so that. Wait, so they're worse than that? Maybe. Can I tell you that I already have a pretty solid front runner here? Love it. Yes, yeah. please tell me. Glass two is very, very nice. Brown sugar, bananas, oak, confectioner's sugar. If I had to put it into a single recipe, banana bread with chocolate chips and vanilla frosting. Very cohesive, very balanced, very lovely. The oak tannins on the back end are a little bit weird for me right now. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm going to spend more time with each of these glasses so that I'm not just bouncing back and forth and messing up my taste buds. Is that I'm what I'm go... doing right now? because that's what I keep doing and I'm like, I'm confused. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I haven't been watching, but probably. I'm gonna spend some time with glass one here, but I told you I was gonna give you my front runner and as much as I love glass two, it's glass one right now. I feel like my palate's a little screwed up today. Both of these are very flavorful. If you've watched any of the videos where these two are in a competition for me, the nose has been superior on both of them, but also the taste from start to finish. And everything's very muted for me today. Right now, my glass number one is moving forward. And if I know what each one is, which I may, it's a bit of a surprise, but, it surprises top to bottom. It's finals day. Who cares? This is why I we know. play the game. Yeah. Today, 
all of those like super sweet flavors are pretty muted for me and all the oak is coming through. Isn't that weird? I think it's because of the competition. They're both wood finished. Another they are reason I both wish caramely and flavorful. Way. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, these two bottles are in the finals for a reason. Yeah. There's no wrong answers here. Glass one, by the way, just hanging out on my palate, shaking hands mm -hmm. with my taste buds. If there was a politician in the room, it would be glass one here. It's kissing all the babies, making all the right moves. It hasn't stepped a foot out of line yet. Just I don't want to do any of that anymore. I don't care what you're doing. This is this is real good. <laughs> I don't know what the deal of the last two days is with me, mm -hmm. but I don't know. And that's a surprise for me because my exuberance in all the previous videos. Another pretty solid word there. Hey. Doing some solid thesaurus work. Just because we're drinking doesn't mean we can't be eloquent in our loquaciousness. What? Wait, I haven't done this in a while. Finger guns and she earned it. The sheriff. Wow, look at you. Mm -hmm. Must be the shirt. Side note, I'm pretty sure that this shirt was for Phil. Didn't your mom get this for us? No, I ordered that thinking it would be a really cute shirt and then I put it on. <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't cute muscle on me. Muscle tee. Yeah, muscle. <laughs> Let's say it was a muscle tee. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take it. Fantastic. Once a year, we bring it out. This year, it gets two years. You know, I always wear this on Christmas Eve, so. Oh, good. We're getting I like a, to look classy. <laughs> getting our money's worth. I think I got that shirt for seven bucks. It feels like it. <laughs> Not a lot of give in that shirt. No. If there's a fire, just take that off immediately. Yeah. I'm going to give you some tasting notes on Please, my glass because one. because I got nothing right now. A lovely rye spice. Mm. It's actually dancing on the back of my tongue. It's coating so beautifully. There's lovely oak there, but the prevailing flavors are dark brown sugar and cherry. It's giving me a tremendous Kentucky hug. If I had to guess, I would say that this is probably the higher proof of the two. If it is that higher proof one, it's 127 proof. If it's not the higher proof one, then Old Forester 1920's got some explaining to do. It's so satisfying. Above all the whiskeys that we've tried over the last 23 days, this glass got to be in the top three for the most satisfying. I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling a bit sad today. Uh-oh. Neither one of these are standing up for me. The melancholy sheriff. While you were talking, I just had this moment where I was like, if the Jack Daniels was in play right now, with as much as I enjoyed it yesterday, I think it would have been like... Shoe in? Yeah. Do you think that we should change the rules and bring that bottle in, replace something else with it? And everybody that's been watching, that's had their brackets going all along, that has a chance because they've got these two bottles to get really, really angry real quick. Just pull the 46 out, drop this Jack Daniels in here, and let's blow the whole thing up. No, we can't do that. No. <laughs> because it was totally fair. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't I like, dream of doing it. I'm only teasing. I like where you're going with that. <laughs> Just because these are so similar in proof. Do you want me to pour you a glass of Jack Daniels Single Barrel Well, we talked on that one yesterday. Do, do you want me to pour you a little bit of, or you could just drink it out of the bottle again to reset your palate. I, I didn't do that. So, so your palate's not working today. Do you think that 127 proof kick in the pants sip would maybe activate it? Yeah, maybe. So I think this is the Elijah Craig. It'll be totally different than anything else that you're drinking today. Why don't you give that a try? I honestly think that it might help. That's a pretty, it's such a pretty bourbon. Just, you're oh, just see? swirling it and it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna jump in and be like, You can just keep swirling honey? I'm just gonna keep looking at it. Ooh. There's beautiful honey notes on this. It you coats know, like honey. This was 127 proof, you said? I believe so. If it's the one that I'm thinking it is, it is 127.2 proof. So this is going to give a big shout out to higher proofs, but this one smells more flavorful than both of mine. Yeah, we'll see if this works for you. What if I just drink this whole thing? Nope. I want it. I want it back. I think it's this one. My bottle of the year, I believe. Did I knock that out by the 46 and the 1910? This guy. Yeah, this, yeah. Whoa, this one's good. <laughs> for, for the record, I was at the liquor store the other day. I did the old lady at the grocery store thing who pulls all the milk off the shelf to oh, find yeah. the latest date. Yeah, yeah. I did that Ooh, to find hot. a bottle of batch B520 and I lucked out. You know, it's a limited edition. They release three different batches a year. I'm thrilled to have a backup of it because we got into it a little bit with this tournament. This, do you want this back? <laughs> If that's working for you, you can keep that glass. Brown sugar. I just got brown sugar on that. I can see on a good day when my palate's actually working, I guess, that in the 1910 would unseat it, but ooh, baby, she's good. Yeah. See? I had a little of that. Like that's a little of it. 
Oh, I am the smartest man alive. Oh, I'm getting a little orange spice on this now too, like orange, orange peel, orange zest. Mm. Oh. Ooh, this is all cherries to me. There's some cherry in that one for sure. Mm. Yeah. I'm just that ignoring one's... mine because <laughs> maybe it's psychological. Yeah, I think you need to believe in yourself. You know, I've only had one sip of that one so far. I should probably give Ooh, that one chocolate. a chocolate. Now I got chocolate. You got chocolate on chocolate that one? Chocolate on that one. Milk chocolate, vanilla, nice oak, a little banana, cherries like you said, tiny bit of spice here, really incredible mouthfeel, viscous, balanced, incredible sweetness, but not too sweet. So many good whiskeys in this tournament. I am thrilled with the two that I wound up with. These perfectly fit my palate. And that's the bottom line is nobody can tell you what to like. That's what this competition was all about. We wanted to learn what our palates preferred. I think we got to the bottom of that. What I've just realized right at this moment, I fall into that dabbler, like whiskey dabbler, where it's like, you'd love to have a great bottle around for people to come over who are in interested in whiskey, but maybe aren't connoisseurs. Sure. And then you have the, and I, cause I can, I can see myself already moving into this category. Ooh. I really enjoy the flavors. I really enjoy the proof. I really enjoy, still an easy drinker. Like it doesn't have to be like crazy 135 proof or sure. something like that. Sure. It is a more beginner's intermediate or maybe intermediate, more intermediate. I don't know. I mean, I don't know where to <laughs> Advanced. go. Advanced. Um, yeah. I, I think it's an interesting point that you're making. In my mind, this 115 proof, uh, the old. Yeah. Sorry, I finally something? flippin' got <laughs> bananas, sugar, a little breadiness. It smells good. Maybe I just needed to embrace my I'm not an advanced drinker and you I know. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. You just accepted your fate. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it was by just all a means. moment. This like, is way I more important like, than yeah. what I was about to say. I'm thrilled that you're getting some yeah. notes. The point that you were making is a good one. There are proof points that you prefer and sometimes those proof points change. But in my mind, Pikesville Rye at 110 proof is Perfect. Maker's Mark. I'm not a big weeded bourbon guy, but the 2020 limited edition, that's 110 proof. That's probably my favorite weeded bourbon. The uh, Wild Turkey Rare Breed is 114 or 116, I can't remember. I'm still a little sour about that. I'm salty about it too. <laughs> and this, this 1920 is 115 proof. Those midpoint proofs are where I generally fall into unless something's really good outside of those. Eagle Rare at 90 proof, mm -hmm. Cooper's Craft at 100 proof, Elijah Craig at 127 proof. There's some outliers, but for the most part, that 110 proof area is where I prefer to do my drinking. So do you want to know that during all of this, yes, today I couldn't pick anything out. Right. Until I tasted yours, I think that really kind of like triggered it. Triggered, yeah. The entire time, my glass number one was winning. Uh huh. There was that like bright cherries, mm -hmm. and there was that like melted caramel, and they were all very like psychologically, I guess, like familiar. Sure. It was just like a really nice drink. Pleasant. Pleasant. My glass number two, pretty lackluster today. I could eke out like there was like faint flavors yeah. in the background, but they were like two miles away. Oh. Like I had to like really work for them. <laughs> and then it wasn't until I like kind of experienced yours to kind of wake up my palate that I went back here, kind of enjoyed them both a little bit more. This one's still flavorful. Those flavors were like a little bit overshadowed by the alcoholiness. Oh. Okay. Like a, a cloud, maybe, over sure. the flavors. I would get to this glass too, the flavors really started coming through. Brown sugars, there was bananas. It's getting a little breadiness. I'm actually not overly surprised to hear you say the breadiness on that bottle. You said that it reminded you of a cinnamon roll, but with a lot less cinnamon at one point. You have said that about, the, if it's the bottle I think it is, you've, you've definitely made that tasting note before. Once I finally broke through whatever was going on with me today, this one is just so flavorful and so delicious. This is the one, the logo glass that needs to move forward. I'm so excited and we'll to see be, what it is. Yeah, and it'll be my winner. I'm gonna see if I can get back there. Yeah, so logo the logo glass, glass will be my winner, and I'm gonna say that I'm happy either way. You'll be happy to know that uh, your grand champion for the 2020 Advent Calendar Whiskey Tournament is Old Forester 1910. <gasps> Congratulations. <laughs> You win, uh, you win a couple of drinks out of that bottle because I want some too. This competition, I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And what I think that I finally realized today, I may have graduated over the last 23 days into like maybe a little bit higher proof because yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Look no. at you now. You're drinking cask strength weeded bourbons. Rise. Mm -hmm. 127 proof for that you just took a sip of and we're like, yeah, that's great. Didn't even realize that it had that, that high proof. Really great. Jack Daniel's at 128 proof. You're loving on that. I do love it. Did your palate expand or did you just become more familiar? Yeah. I would say absolutely to both of those questions. I'm very happy for you. Congratulations, you've got a diploma. <laughs> this is it. Is this a prouder moment for me than like actually graduating college? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think the rewards might be richer. I've been sipping on glass two here fairly nonstop and I didn't really have to. For me, as soon as we started tasting, this one was over. Um, really? Oh so yeah. So it wasn't close. Oh yeah, so... no, not close. Even though I would say these are my two favorite bottles in this competition, mm -hmm. not not even close for me. So it's a barrel proof which you can get anywhere, right? Because it's not much. a store pick. Some, some states this can be hard to find, some yeah. cities this can be hard to find. But it's not a store pick, not, so not it's a store like pick a of, general... Available countrywide, absolutely. Yeah, same with this. Yep, Heaven Hill here, Old Forester here, both readily available out there. Which makes me excited because those are good. Yeah, they're fantastic. From the jump, this logo glass here was doing it for me. This is still my, this is my winner. This is what I'm ultimately going with. Glass two here, the only knock on it is that it's it's not offensive, but mm. there's an herbal flavor on the finish that I'm not crazy about. I don't know that I've ever even noticed it outside of this competition. Amazing bottle. I think it's the 1920. Thrilled about both of these, but logo glass does it for me and I'm calling it. And logo glass is? The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Number one seed from start to finish. Yeah, we don't want two old foresters to lose. <laughs> it's not an old Unless forester. Unless it was the same one. <laughs> it is not an old forester sweep. Yeah. I'm gonna put these guys back up here. We had some delicious flavors in the finale. I just wanna say <laughs> thanks for sticking with us yeah. for 23 days. We're new at this. I've had a lot of fun. What a way to start with 23 straight days of insanity and drinking and uh, I couldn't have asked for a better partner for it. And so nice. thank you for joining me on this. Thank you for joining both of us on this. Tomorrow, uh, we'll now that we know, winners. we will announce the winners. We're also going to pick a oh. whiskey from the tournament to add to eggnog tomorrow while we're announcing oh. the winner. We will choose which one wins that competition. We're also gonna talk just a little bit, it'll be a short video, but we're gonna talk a little bit about the tournament and some of our favorite moments, some of our least favorite moments. Well, it's been a great 23 days. We've learned a lot about whiskey and we look forward to sharing a lot more about whiskey with you you in the future. So, from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks.